today we're focusing on protective DNS and web filtering, in particular, the ability to ensure a highly secure, private, and resilient connection for networks and user endpoints that incorporates threat intelligence to automatically block requests to undesirable, dangerous, or even malicious internet domains. Over one third of all cyber attacks are deployed via DNS. That's pretty important, right? 94% of malware is spread through email. And over 18,000 phishing sites are registered each day. So what does DNS have to do with any of that? It can be looked at as the internet's phone book, right? So if you're on a browser and you're, and you're trying to go to, let's say, bestbuy.com, what's first going to happen is that browser is going to go out to a DNS server. It's going to get the IP address that's associated with bestbuy.com. And from there, it's going to send it back to the browser and you're going to be directed to the website. Now, if I fat finger trying to go to Google and it says Google, well, guess what? Go to Google. It's malicious, right? It's simple mistakes like that. Because it really exposes what you're doing. Um, and really that's, that's the problem with DNS, right? I like to say, I can't stop anything I can't see, right? I want visibility across everything in my infrastructure, everything my users are doing, because that's gonna enable me to detect malicious and nefarious behavior quicker. It's not about protecting it, it's about how quickly can I detect it, right? What it's going to do is it's going to offer a method for, for encrypting these DNS requests. So it's going to mask or shield those requests from, from any of those bad actors that are looking to, you know, that are seeking to use that information improperly. Sometimes it's easy to think, that the bad guys are winning because, you know, if you look at it from a gross standpoint, it kind of looks like they are. But for the companies that take it seriously and that could go in and, and latch on to some of these, um, you know, techniques and some of these uh, processes, they can come out ahead and be very effective in improving their security.